Now having uh, tested this, it's tempting to to leave it as is. Really, just scrape it here. It um, matched up so so well. So if I measure now that these are not much worn, I think I might leave this as is. See, there's a little bit here wear but well not much um, <clears throat> in general this is tilted a little bit downwards like this so it's a little bit low here in comparison to at least half the way here so in the front it falls and it falls the most on this area which is of course towards the most used area I guess or where the tool pressure comes so that is understandable actually I think it's because the underside all out flat is tilted downwards so that most wear is on the underside because there is no ridge here is it here so this area and this whole area is on top seems to be flat you can test it here also just very briefly because I now know this is flat okay So, a little bit there, but anyway, maybe this is worn in, in, just looks pristine, it has contact but it drops, so all that, that well, we need to address that. yeah getting a bit familiar with this bit also uh, seems to me that this is deceiving this area that looked and it is flat because of the the bluing but is actually tilted yeah this way like this is responsible for most of the wear this no ridge uh, this drops but was primarily due to this area here dropping i measured uh, this in comparison to these and these in comparison to this surface and also of course put it down here and measured it you know on top here and this also to these and uh, within reasonable said deviations these are not much worn or uh, and they are flat but this that was that looked the flattest or the, the less least worn that's actually you know uh, normal wear like dropping here on this sorry on this side now i found of course a ridge here along the front side so that i know i <coughs> know this is now a representative of the pristine surface and that this is worn so to find out how much so i set it to zero at the, the non-worn area and then you can see here nine hundreds wear so i can go uh, along the length of the piece here you can see that it zeros again and here it is 
like five and in the middle zeros again like six zeros again seven so it gradually becomes more worn to this side which is normal of course because that's where the tool pressure is so finally established that this area here like normal is worn where it is also normal to be worn be a detective like this ridge here representing I mean the unworn surface and then the down there the wear find this see how all these areas match up to one another before you start scraping off and it's of course easy to to verify also namely to put this like here onto the so it drops like this with gap there and then onto the unworn surface and then see that it zeroes. Mm, at least, oh, yeah, almost. It's within the hundreds of a millimeter. Yeah.